Amandla, Matla, Comrades uh, earlier, we saw an incident and we just want to record it. And Comrade Shad, if you did not mention my name, I think when the Khan and that private security will still be there standing. Once you said I'm here, they started retreating and running away. But we saw them. And I just want to say to the police, in the morning they were manning that area and you allow them to do so. This march is legal. This march was applied for. This march is in the official record. It must be manned by the police and the metropolis and no one else. You allowed yourself to be led by some foreign force that went in there and manned this area. Fortunately, we had recorded with our cellulars what was happening. The granddaughter of Amhet Kathrada was mishandled by the security in front of the police. They were pushing and pushing her just right there in front of your eyes. I do not know why you had allowed a private company to be doing public order policing for a match that is organized, that was supposed to be organized by yourselves. And when the can, I know you are no longer here, but the message will come to you. Once you saw, you retreated. But you were commanding and telling them what to do. From this morning, they violated the rules of our country, the laws of our country, in terms of being the executors of public order policy. Then they were not supposed to be so doing so. So that is a shame. It's a shame that our own police had to allow that. But nonetheless, we thank you when the people were remonstrating with them that we were able to push them back and they were not supposed to be there. Please, not in future, not again. South Africa is our country. South Africa is a free country. South Africa love you as the police, but we should not have really allowed that to happen. I've already instructed the BDS, please bring in those video recordings right for Mali to the Minister of Police, right from Mali to the Mayor and the others to say our march was violated in terms of a private security being in the forefront and allowed to do the nonsense that they were doing. They were not supposed to do that nonsense. So, and anyone who has those earlier recordings, please bring them. We've got one or two people. I saw the, I saw the videos. It's very embarrassing. And the daughter, the granddaughter of Ahmed Kathrada, please come in. Also as a complainant to tell us how, because we recorded you in video of what was happening early in the morning. So private police, please, uh, security police, this is not your country. You can't be doing policing here in South Africa. The African National Congress remains steadfast in the support of the Palestinian people. And we saw what the Jewish board has been doing here in South Africa. They've put up banners all over the country, quoting our President Nelson Mandela, and quoting him selectively. Because if you read the entire speech of Mandela was saying, you'll find that at the end or within the speech itself, he was able to say, I stand with the Palestinian people. And he has always been saying that, and we're not going to leave the struggle of the Palestinian until they are free. Mandela will be disappointed the day we forsake the Palestinians, and we're not going to do so. But don't use him selectively. Use his speeches fully. Because you remember when Mandela met uh, Bush, when Bush was still the president in the US, he said to him, Anyone who says I must abandon the Palestinians, any president in the world, no matter how powerful they are, they must just know that they must go and jump in the nearest lake who will never forsake the Palestinians. He told him point blank, and then America knows that is our stand. We'll always be with the people of Palestine. The historic relations of the Palestine do not start today. 
They started early in the 1960s. We have been always having this historic relation, all our tambo with Arafat, cemented them at the time. And it was us who said to Fata movement, Fata, for you to have a successful struggle, establish an alliance. And then in it, a Palestinian liberation organization was born. An alliance of organizations that came together to wage an armed struggle and a struggle against an apartheid Israel. We are here saying here, the Jewish people that are still on the other side, we don't hate you as a nation. We don't hate you as a people. But we hate the ideology of Zionism. We hate the ideology of the Israel apartheid state that is using that ideology to maim, to kill, and then to persecute the Palestinian people. Over a thousands of Palestinians are languishing in your prisons. You must stand up as a Jewish people there in Israel and say enough is enough. You must also stand with us everywhere as you saw the young man who was here with us today, Mr. Hunter, when he said, I'm a Jewish, but what the Jewish are doing there is wrong and I cannot be on the side of the Jewish for that. You must all come over and then be with the people of South Africa when you say Palestinian must be free and indeed must be free. We are also saying that you must condemn your government, the aggressor. Uh, the Israel government is an aggressor in the environment. There are resolutions that are supposed to be implemented by now. The 1967 recognition of Palestinian borders. But we are busy, busy expanding settlements in that particular area. And when you call you apartheid, you say you are not apartheid. You are indeed apartheid. We are busy annexing somebody's land. We are building houses on that land wrongly so, against the international standards, against international decisions. You are building a hall, that hall of shame. I was there in January in Palestine. The hall is just as unashamedly standing, an apartheid hall. And uh, as such as, like we used to go through apartheid, when we went into our homes, the townships were occupied by the army. The army has indeed occupied the territorial spaces of the Palestinians. We say to them that that hall must go down. That hall must go down is an our hall of apartheid. And thanks to you, Kosatu, you have named the FOG security. Indeed, we have named them too. We are engaging with them at the end to say, government, these contracts that FOG has in our country is a British company, we know. But what they are doing, they are the prison security for the Israel government in Israel. The torture happens with them securing those particular prisons. And we say to them that here in South Africa, we are considering government withdrawing all contracts with them. Unless they do something by boycotting Israel and leaving Israel. We have named Cape Gate too, which has been contributing to the building of the hall in Israel. It's a Cape Town company, and we say to them that you too, you are helping Israel with the apartheid policy. Also, 4G is also manufacturing torture instruments that they are using in the prisons in Israel to torture the political prisoners there. So it's a shame on them. Definitely, we have taken a resolution as the NEC, as the NWC of the ANC, that these two security, the one security company and the manufacturing company, must be named and then also begin to engage government to withdraw its services from them. Amadla! Comrades, apartheid week comes to an end today, but the struggle of the Palestinians continues. Let's begin to go back and then begin to forge a program that is going to indeed put pressure and more pressure and more pressure to the government of Israel to release and liberate Palestine until Palestine is free and is free. Amadla, thank you.